What's going on guys? Big Blue Gaming here with an, uh, something a little bit different. Going to be playing some NCAA 14 Dynasty. Um, I couldn't get Team Builder to uh, download anything, so I'm just going to be using uh, ODU. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go over some of the players we've got. Not as bad of a team as I would have liked to have inherited, but still not good. So Quentin Burley is our starting quarterback. 75 overall, 75 speed, 77 acceleration, um, throwing 80, 81. So not bad. Backup is Ryan Bell. Um, he has 81 speed, uh, 77 acceleration, 75 throw power, 75 throw accuracy with 69 throw power. Hopefully he'll up that a little bit. And then true freshman Josh Wynn, uh, 77 speed with 84 acceleration, 78 throw power with 75 accuracy. So not too bad. Uh, best player on the team is, uh, well, tied between my top running back and my top receiver, I believe. Uh, Ellis Jones, 77 overall, 89 speed, 90 acceleration. Um, you know, pretty decent juke move. Hopefully good enough carrying to where he won't fumble. Backup is Michael Norton, 85 speed, 88 acceleration. Um, not much to really see with most, most of these guys. Uh, number three guys, C.J. Arnold, 84 speed, 84 acceleration. All, all three of them with 75 carrying. So, um, Fullback is Jonathan Cabral, uh, 63 overall. He is a freshman, 86 acceleration. That's pretty pretty good for a freshman. Um, yeah, best uh, receiver is tied for our best player on the team, Blake Sellers, uh, 77 overall. Not that fast at 85, 91 acceleration. 76 catching, 76 route running. Eh, not, probably not going to do a lot for us. Our number two guy, 91 speed, 93 acceleration with uh, 76 catching. Only 70 route running. Hopefully that'll get a little bit better. But that's Dwayne Adams. He's a 76 overall. Then our number three guy, Jason Bullock, 90 speed, 85 acceleration, 71 catching, 78 route running. So we'll see how that goes. Tight end, we definitely need to upgrade. Um, Sterling Wise, our number one guy, 69 overall. Richard Freshman, 75 speed, 78 acceleration. Uh, pretty good pass blocking with 79. So, I mean, I could throw him in at, you know, well, no, he's only 190 pounds. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Like, just run just run him uh, out there to block him when we need a, need a little bit extra time. But not, not great, not terrible. Um, Back up Mike Leonard, 6'3", 245, so he's a little bit bigger. 75 pass block. Wish the run blocking would be a little bit better, but it is what it is. Left tackle Brandon Stevens, 76 overall. Uh, 82 pass block, 77 run block. Um, back up Bill Johnson, um, 63 overall. 76 pass block, 69 run block. Uh, left guard. We have Marcus Gray, 76 overall, so, uh, 84 pass, 77 run. Um, and then Dominique Rutledge, or Dominic Rutledge. He's a true freshman, so I might redshirt him because uh, well, he's only 59 overall. But 68 pass block, 67 run block. <clears throat> At center, we have Xavier Williams, uh, 78 pass block, 70 run block. Backing him up is uh, Michael Wilson, 73 pass block, 73 run block. Right guard, we have Chris Bush, um, 77 pass block, 76 run block, 70 overall. Backing him up is Joey Mead, 75 pass, 73 run, 66 overall. Calvin Britt, our right tackle, um, redshirt sophomore, so he could develop into a pretty good player for us. Uh, 71 overall, 80 pass block, 74 run block. And backing him up, redshirt sophomore, 67 overall, Blake Ernst. Uh, 78 pass block, 72 run. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Eric Myrick, 71 overall, uh, 79 power move, 77 finesse, 74 block shed, 91 acceleration. That should play pretty good. And backing him up is Brandon Tate, um, 83 acceleration, 68 power, 65 finesse, and 67 block shed. On the other side, we have Brandon Austin, um, 74 power, 77 finesse, and 74 block shed. Um, not bad, not not great, but not bad. Backing him up, Max Miles, 85 acceleration, 65 overall, 77 power move, 71 finesse, and 69 block shed. 
And for our defensive tackles, we have Greg Brown, 74 overall. 80 power move, 76 finesse, 74 block shed. Um, and then the co-starter, Jason Pennington, 70 overall. Uh, 79 power move, 73 finesse, 71 block shed. And then the primary backup, Corey Burks, with uh, 67 overall, uh, 66 power, 68 finesse, 68 block shed. And then the secondary backup is uh, Brent Jones, 66 overall junior, 71 power move, 71 block shed, only 60 finesse, but 315 pounds. I can I can get by, get behind that. And then like in emergency, we have Blake Keller. Uh, 63 overall junior, 72 power move, 71 finesse, and 71 block shed. So he's not bad. Uh, for our linebackers, Ryan Harrell is our uh, left outside linebacker. 80 speed, 82 acceleration, 82 tackle. Um, coverage, not that great. Um, tackling at 82, so he shouldn't miss a lot of those. And then backing him up, redshirt freshman Josh McNeil, 67 overall, 80 speed, 85 acceleration. A little bit better in the coverage, and uh, his tackling's a 77. At middle linebacker, we have Brandon Bell, 74 overall, 79 speed, 88 acceleration. Pretty good coverage with 72, 68, uh, 77 tackle. And then backing him up will be Joel Pierce, 68 overall, 84 speed, 82 acceleration, 70 zone, 68 man with 72 tackle. And then for right outside uh, linebacker, we have Sam Reddick, 69 overall, 75 speed, 81 acceleration, uh, 65 zone, 66 man, so okay for, for his overall. Backing him up, Riley Robinson, 83 speed, 89 acceleration, 68 overall, 76 zone cover, 72 man, uh, 70 tackling, so probably our weakest tackler we have, but looks decent in coverage. Uh, for our corner, cornerbacks, we have Larry Hayward as our number one guy. 91 speed, 96 acceleration, only 74 man, but 88 zone. So he looks like he could do something. Uh, backing him up, oh, actually their co-starter for cornerback, Brett Manning, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He has 82 zone with 70 man, 76 press. So looks like he might play a little bit of zone. but. And then um, our slot corner is going to be uh, Jermaine Williams, 68 overall, 88 speed, 92 acceleration, 76 man, 72 zone with 74 press. So he, uh, he's, he's a little bit backwards from the other two, but he still does go good enough with zone. Cliff Nugent, our primary backup, 89 speed, 87 acceleration, 70 man, 75 zone with 75 press. So he looks like he could get the job done in zone as well. And then Carlos Williams. Our best man coverage guy, 66 overall, 94 speed, 91 acceleration, 78 man, uh, 71 zone, and 61 press. So he looks like um, he is a junior, so he'll probably won't see the field a, a whole lot in his career here. But yeah, for a free safety, Matt Davis, um, senior, 74 overall, 85 speed, 88 acceleration, uh, 72 zone. Wished I was a little higher, but. Um, should be able to, to play a decent center field for us. Anthony McRae backing him up, 84 speed, 88 acceleration. He has 70 zone, so just a little bit worse. Strong safety of Stevie Bolden, uh, true sophomore, 6'2", 195, so decent size. 71 overall, 84 speed, 86 acceleration. He has 74 zone, 74 tackle, and 77 hit power. Mike can cause us, uh, a couple fumbles. And then Bella backing him up is Billy Davis, 66 overall, redshirt sophomore, 83 speed, 84 acceleration, uh, only 65 zone, only 69 tackle. So probably not going to see the field a whole lot. Uh, our kicker is Lee Lundy, so we're going to have to get a new kicker because he is a senior, 77 kick power with 71 accuracy. And then sophomore punter, Martin Burrell, um, 74 kick power and 70 accuracy. And then um, I think getting our kicks, I'm just going to have Ellis Jones out there. And then um, probably for my secondary, um, I'll probably throw Carlos Williams for my number two guy out there because he has the most speed on the team. So I think I'm going to do that. That will give him some some uh, semblance of playing this year. So that's the team. Let's go ahead and uh, start.
start uh, start our recruiting. Um, I set a couple ground rules for myself. I forgot to set my coach XP progression, um, so it's at normal. So, in order to make it a little bit more difficult for myself, I'm only going to scout and attempt to sign players from my that are already either already uh, interested in coming to my school or. Um, uh, as of now, um, nothing higher than a three star, um, that has the low lock percentage that I might could squeeze through and only in my home state. And we'll go ahead and do a pipeline state too. So right now, New Jersey and Texas. So if we have a couple three stars, um, from one of these states, then, um, I'll, 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 I'll allow that. We'll see how it goes. I might change that after this year, but that's what we're going to do. So let's check out our team needs first. So we need a kicker. We need a free safety. Those are the only two things that we need. So let's, uh, let's see what we can find. <sighs> All right. So, uh, just doing the base, um, scouting on some of these guys didn't really get to do as much as I wanted to but um the guys that I'm really looking at right now like Justin Taylor looks pretty good um I'll leave Jeremy Coe on here um Richard Chase looks pretty good already up to a 66 just based off of 20% scouted um a guard Kelvin Lawson already up to an 80 so already you know gonna be a true freshman with uh, 80 pass block that's pretty pretty big um, most of these guys I'm leaving on until I get them a little bit more scouted so we'll see how it goes um, the only center I have on the list didn't get much out of him only 68 impact wished I was a little higher um, at the end both of these guys kind of eh, as of now you know still early but uh, Omar Lane looks looks okay and then uh, Brian Keller, my 1D tackle I have on the list, didn't really learn much from him either. Didn't get a chance to um, scout my outside linebacker. Um, when it comes to the free safety, um, didn't get uh, didn't really get a chance to scout my uh, outside linebacker. Um, when it comes to free safety, I did scout um, Eric Walker. He has 87 acceleration, so that's okay. 81 pursuit. So hopefully he'll end up being something. Um, I had no kickers that were interested, but going off of my rules, I did the one kicker that was in Virginia. Uh, he's a two-star Antoine Wilson, and um, he's going to be starting off with 89 kick power, so that's pretty big. And then um, I scouted a little bit of uh, James Allen here, 86 speed. I wish that was better. But we'll eventually get the athletes that we need. It's going to take a little while, but hopefully we'll find somebody with some speed. But that's where we're at right now, so I'll uh, keep you updated on that, on that whenever we learn anything, when we find some gems or, or whatever happens. All right, so we got our schedule set up. We got our two rival games uh, at the beginning of the season just because it's the only time I could find, um, find them. Uh, available to play so we'll be playing at Lane Stadium against Virginia Tech in week one and then at home against uh, UVA week two then we'll have our first conference game week four against Memphis um, hopefully one game we can hopefully win right here against FCS East um, and then we'll play uh, pretty much nothing but except for the one game against uh, Notre Dame that I set up but um, now we just then we just got pretty much just our conference games. I uh, got Louisville, SMU, Buffalo, Rutgers, UConn, Cincinnati, and Temple. So that's where we're at now. That's uh, that's what I'm going to go with. So let's see if we can uh, maybe try to win three or four games this year. It'd be kind of tough, but I think we can do it. All right. So for Virginia Tech. 
Um, their best player is a 93 overall center, a 93 overall left end, and a 92 overall D tackle. So their D line looks pretty nasty. And for us, it's our uh, number one wide receiver, our number two wide receiver, and our running back. So we'll see if we can maybe get something going here against a better team in Virginia Tech. Alright, so we win the coin toss. We're going to elect to kick. Alright. See if we can do something here on the opening kickoff and not give up a bunch of yards. Alright, could have been worse. That could have been much worse. All right. Um, so first and foremost, our goal is to uh, slow down the run. That's terrible. I don't want to. I don't want to like completely stop our pass rush because uh, I don't want to give him all day to throw. Nah, there's nothing we can do with that. I think we're gonna be playing mostly zone just based on our uh, corners' ability. We're we're not a very good man-to-man -man team. Man, it's our number five corner is our best. And he's just running pretty free. So 10 yards there after 11 on the pass. And then had another like 15 on the first carry of the game from the quarterback. So not much we can really do with that. We're going to have Reddick here spying. So we're still bringing four, just a little bit of a weird four. And I just got pushed out of the way. So D-line, D-line's got to do the job, but it's going to be hard. I'm hoping we can at least maybe, um, like, force field goals. Um, so I'm going to send him here, and then, uh, we're going to do that. And that's going to be a walk-in touchdown. Nobody able to get off the blocks. Brandon Bell, 18 yards. Not the way you want to start. All right, so we've tied for our best player on the team, our running back here, Jones. Uh, we're going to see if maybe he can get something going. I was hoping five there would, uh, would, would give me a little bit more of a block. So Big Lou coaching first game at um, Old Dominion. So let's see what we can do. I'm um, not expecting a lot. Again, their defensive line's pretty pretty disgusting. All right, Sellers makes the catch, so we get a first down on the first play offensively. All right, Sellers makes the second catch of the game there, so two catches for him, 25 yards. This curl route's coming in clutch. See, we're going to run a read option here. There we go. Nice, easy eight yards. Actually doing a little bit better than I expected to. Running the spread is uh, running the spread is is probably the way to go. Uh, let's try that. Oh, we got room to run. And we're going to go out of bounds after 14 yards. Quentin Burley playing really well so far. Not the fastest, but he's got enough speed to enough speed to make somebody uh, make somebody miss. Um, he's got enough speed to do something, but uh, not not like that. Not in that situation. And ah, squeeze it in there. Just couldn't hold on to it. Little bit of a dangerous throw, but I thought it was worth the risk. So 
So let's see what we can do here. We're gonna put sellers. Um, he's gonna make another catch. So three catches for him for 40 yards. And we get a third down conversion here, first and 10. So barring any anything stupid happening, we should be able to uh, to get points this drive. get down pick up a five didn't see anything uh, that was uh it was not probably not the best uh best decision there but it could have been worse um did he just say i come out in an empty backfield because no no i didn't yep just their D tackle just almost uh, almost insta shedded that. It just wasn't much I can do. Only only brought three, and uh, they get the sack pretty quickly. Not not much we can do there. Just uh, need better blocking. I was trying to dump it down to the running back and just I should have just done it instead of trying to run. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned. We have a better chance of kicking this field goal than we do of getting a first down. Yeah. So, XP is king, especially. Yeah, wide open in the flat, brought the blitz. Big hit though. And big tackle there. Tackle for loss, actually. Uh, I just didn't lock on to him. What in the heck is that kind of... We had a shot at him in the backfield with two guys. I just ran past him right there. And then this dude just straight up fell down when he got near him, so... It's only a five-yard gain. I was trying to switch over to try to get the pick. You guys get off the blocks. D-line just not playing, not playing very well so far. Blitzes on this game. And he gets the first. Just as soon as he snaps it, he's got the ball in the air. And this guy's got enough separation to make the catch. There we go. There's something. That should do it for the first quarter. It is. So only down about four at the end of the first. Not too bad. There we go. There's something. Reddick with the nice tackle there. He's got two tackles for loss already on the game. So. And just my my uh, safety or corner actually just absolutely gets mossed on turned the wrong way and when I switched over to him I just didn't have the time to get there oh we're just not playing well just not just just no ifs ands or buts about it we're just not playing well Not the best punt, not the worst. Absolutely terrible tackle attempt. So, hopefully our defense can make some more plays just without that big play that they gave up. I don't. I just don't get how my guys are supposed to be better. Um, like my guys are supposed to be better zone coverage, and then they just get turned around in zone coverage. That shouldn't happen. 
This game, if, if we don't start playing better, this game's going to be um, 50 to 50 to 3 uh, really quickly. And nobody's tackling either. And there's just not much we can do about it. Yep, I saw the draw coming. And he breaks the tackle and gets in. Ah, yep. It's going to be a long game. Come on, guys. Somebody's got to get semi-open, and then my offensive linemen actually have to block. My running back did absolutely nothing there. He just ran over there just to get, you know, a good look at the DM before he shed. And I get tackled by basically my own offensive lineman. So third and 20. I'm sure we're at the negative, you know, negative um, rushing yards already. Um, passing, we started off like we, we were either three for three or uh, we were either three for three or uh, three for four. So 12 yards on that one. I mean, that's something, but it's just not good enough. We're going for it. The only time I'm probably not going for it is if it's a field goal situation um, in the red zone now. Um, I'm just... If we're going to give up points, we might as well give up a lot of points. All right, so Adams makes the catch. I think that's his first catch of the game. It is. So one catch for 14 yards. We have a fourth down conversion. And so a good pass. Just short of the, th of the first down. Saw the blitz coming. Just didn't have the... Uh, didn't have the the space to, to get the first down. So third and inches, we're going to go with the quarterback sneak. Just get an easy first down here, hopefully. Get our second, third down conversion of the game. And we got the first. So just under three minutes left. Um, I'm, I, it looks like they might be in a cover, too. Oh, big catch there. Sterling Wise, his first reception, well, second reception of the game, 26 yards, biggest play of the game for us. Bit of a rough, uh, of a dangerous throw. But he got the job done. Yep. And just didn't have the room there. Got three. Corner looked like he might have been coming on the blitz. I didn't pick it up. So... We're uh, we're doing okay. Almost in the red zone here. Again, if we make it to the red zone, um, we will be kicking the field goal if we need to. First and goal. So first time getting inside the inside the ten yard line. Um, looking okay. Looking looking okay. Not great, but. Now the tight end coming across the middle. Ah. Okay, we'll take it. So that's our first touchdown of the season. Um, still a two-possession game. But uh, we will definitely take that. 11 plays, 75 yards. Took almost three and a half minutes. And the extra point is good. So we're down by 11. Um, left a little more time on the clock than I would have liked to. But our backup tight end gets the uh, first touchdown in my... Uh, in Coach Big Lou's uh, tenure here at uh, at ODU, and all right, not terrible. Ah, that's on me. That's a touchdown. That's that's on me. That was stupid. Um. Supposed to be more of a lob. Stupid throw. Yep. Now the mistakes are starting to come. Played pretty clean up until that point. Uh, we just can't do that. 8 for 13. 113 yards touchdown on a pick. And the pick is absolutely 100% my fault. I 
I didn't think he was going to him. All right, if we can hold him to a field goal here, keep it a three touchdown game, we have a shot. Yeah, just nobody getting over there. That's why I don't like zone blitzes. Leaves too many holes, too easy to find. I mean, unless, you know, I'm playing offense, then I can't find anything. Um, but yeah. Make a play. Nope. Corner had a shot at the ball, just didn't make a play on it. So, 35 points in the first half. We're just, we're getting just decimated by them. Their quarterback has not missed a throw. Um, yeah, this is going to be a long season. Right, that's a good play. Nice 12-yard gain, it looks like. And nice throw there. They get us our 10th first down of the game. And nobody's even got to like, stop to smell that off of that defensive lineman there. And that's way overthrown. Alright, so third and 16, 54 seconds left, and they still have a timeout, so we have to try to get this first down. Otherwise, it's uh, probably going to be giving up more points. Okay, I'll take that. I was about to say, like, why did that dude straight up, uh, like, he was, like, mauling me towards the outside when he was supposed to have inside, but ended up being okay. Nothing, uh, nothing really affected him from catching the ball, so we got the first down you on the line or just run to the other side that's that's cool too so quick pass to Adams uh, we have 34 seconds we need a touchdown thrushers coming up in my face that's a terrible throw just don't have time to even consider where I'm going to go with the ball because it uh their uh right end was right in my face well, it was about to be right in my face as soon as I uh, caught the ball can I please lock on to somebody so got 15 seconds left looks like they might just kind of run it yeah it looks like they're just going to run it to uh get to the se uh, second half Terrible first half um, defensively. Bad first half offensively. Um, two turnovers. Just can't do that. Special teams have been pretty fucking bad, too. It's, it's been bad. Wow. Even the curls didn't work that play. That was a jump on the line of scrimmage that knocked that ball down. Not a, uh, not a, not a DB in coverage. So you can shut your mouth. Bob Upshaw, his first catch of the game, goes for 19. I'm just gonna dump down, go to the running back, pick up six yards. I'll take that. Mostly, you know, one interception that I made a stupid read. The other interception was supposed to be more of a lob, and it ended up coming out almost as a flat-out bullet. Um, just some of the shit that happens on this game. Lawson with a nice catch, 28 yards. I think that might be the longest play of the game for us. His second catch of the game. 
Uh, we'll do this. And this was able to make it pick up a couple yards. Okay, third and two. Mike and Norton, his first carry of the game. And that will give us a little bit of XP. And we're going to get it. So first and goal here from about the three, it looks like. Yeah. So that's a that's a pretty good uh, pretty good drive going here. Their talent is uh, far and away superior to ours. Burley will get in for the touchdown though. So 17 points, more than I expected to score. So if we kick this extra point, it's up and it's good. So we're down by 18. Um. Not uh, not ideal, but if nothing else, we're fighting. That'll be a stop. That'll be um, Reddick there. I think that's like his fifth or sixth tackle, fifth tackle. This is definitely a mistake, but I mean nothing else has been working for us anyway, so we might as well try it. Yep, and nobody's there for the quarterback. So 15 yards. Um, yeah, not much we can do with that. We brought like an all-out blitz. We had a couple people in the backfield, and every one of them went for the running back instead of splitting off, which is the smart thing to do. But it, it is what it is. Do 13 for 13 for their quarterback. And 14 for 14. Not bad defensively there. Linebacker was, was there to try to try to knock it down. Just a good play from the receiver. And I was right there. Just didn't react in time. Um, yeah, he's got four catches for 130 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, the one touchdown he got the big play was on me. Um, the other play was on a shitty, uh, shitty attempt by my corner. And cover three like this. And we stop him from getting um, a lot of yardage. Alright, that's the first incompletion of the game. I'll take some I'll take a little bit of uh solace in that. He's not gonna not gonna have a hundred percent completion percentage against us, at the very least. All right, we got the stop. Oh, my other safety, if he was just turned around, that could have been an easy interception. Defense got the stop, even though we're giving up points still. We got the stop to uh, at least keep them from getting another touchdown, so that's something. Ah, and we're going to go for it here. Um... I saw the blitz coming. I was trying to get um, Lawson going down the middle of the field on a on a streak. It just uh, it just uh, wasn't there when I was looking for it. And he drops it. Oh man! And we're gonna get our first sack of the game. Bring in the blitz. I was just coming for the quarterback as well. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna cover my man. It was just basically an all-out blitz. This might be some kind of a screen pass to the receiver, and it's gonna count as a sack. So that's our second sack in uh, basically two plays. So that's pretty good there. If we can get one more, get a little bit more XP there. And it's exactly like I thought it was going to be. Tried to get there to make the interception, but we'll take the uh, tackle for loss. And it's no good. So going forward on fourth down, we actually uh, didn't give up any points. And that'll get us a, a good five yards. Yeah, another five yards is all we need. And then maybe see if we can uh, start picking up a little bit of you know, like a little bit of yards on the ground to uh, pick up the hundred 
100 yards for the game. All right, so that's going to do it for our passing yards. That's going to be our biggest play of the game on it, too, 35 yards. So Quentin Burley, 16 to 27, 257, a touchdown, and uh, two interceptions. One bad throw from me, one bad decision for me, and then one. Um, didn't really listen to what I was trying to do, but it is what it is. All right, so easy first down there for the backup, for the option quarterback. Get down. Thank you. I'll take that nine yards. And he got it. Okay, I was not sure if he got it or not, but he got credit for getting it. That's all that matters. And we're going to get in for the touchdown. Ryan Bell, his first touchdown of the season. So uh, we, got, we got a little bit going on here offensively now. So eight plays, 64 yards. More than half of that on the one play. Um, but 24 points against the Virginia Tech defense. Definitely not something to be uh, too upset about. Definitely happier with how my team's been playing in the second half instead of the first half. But um, need to need to keep playing like we are. Nice hit. So overall, um, I'm happy with how we played, but not totally content. And nobody's there. Bolden will make the tackle. Seven-yard gain. We'll say they're just going to be... For the most part, running out the clock. And, yeah, we just don't have the speed to catch up to him there. So, uh, I mean, if we give up another touchdown, I mean, I know that we're, we played this a little bit closer than what most likely what the scoreboard's going to say. But um, I really want to get those uh, 100 yards rushing on the game. Yep, there's just not much we can do with that one. And, yep, uh, so not a bad play defensively. If we could have made that first initial tackle, we could have uh, kept him from getting six. Probably could have been a loss of about five, actually. So second and four. Um, nice tackle there. Only a gain of one. Third and four now. So let's see what we can let's see what we can do here. And yep, yeah, just just can't stop that. Um, not a bad not bad defensively. Just didn't do what we needed to do of uh, rushing offense to uh, to to get these uh, this XP that I want. So we have a minute left on the kick return. I'm just gonna take a take a take a knee. Oh, just call for a fair catch, whatever. And uh, we'll have a minute left to get, like I said, roughly 40 yards. Um, not gonna be easy, but it should be doable. Not with blocking like that. It's not gonna be doable. Just. Six carries for six yards for Ellis Jones. That's just, it's not on him. I'm not saying like it's his fault he's, he's done like that. But, um. All right, so we have 79, so another 21 yards. We got the 350 yards of total offense. At getting the first down. And just absolutely laid out my uh, offensive lineman there. Ryan Bell has run the ball pretty well today. Um, backup quarterback, 81 speed, so he's got the best speed on the uh, at the quarterback position. So we're going to come up a little bit short. We're going to come up about about 15 to 18 yards short. So overall, keeping it to a 17-point game against the Virginia Tech team at, on the road uh, as well, I'll take that. I'm not not super mad. I mean, a couple of bad decisions. Oh, a bad decision, bad and a bad throw. Been the, the main main focal point for why we lost this game. Then a couple of drops, too. 
but we got some XP. Um, yeah, we're we're just uh, just over the halfway point for our uh, first coach um, first coach upgrade. So I'll take that. Um, played a close game. Let's check out the stats. So uh, for the quarterbacks, Quentin Burley uh, played well. Uh, threw a long of 35. That was the last pass he threw on the game. Uh, 16 of 27, 257 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions. Again, one was just a, bit of a stupid throw by me. The other one was um, supposed to be more like supposed to be a lob, and he threw a bullet. Ryan Bell uh, came in mostly running the ball, two of four for 23 yards. Uh, running, Ryan Bell was our best ball carrier on the game. 12 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown. Quentin Burley got a touchdown as well. Um, our running backs just didn't have room to run. Um, Ellis Jones tied for our best player on the team. Six carries for six yards. It's just offensive line's got to do a lot better than that. Uh, receiving, Blake Sellers had the uh, best game receiving. Five catches, 85 yards. Uh, long of 35. Dwayne Adams had three for 33. Greg Lawson had two for 55. Mike Leonard, our backup tight end, had the uh, only receiving touchdown of the game for uh, two catches for 21 yards. Uh, Sterling Wise, our top uh, tight end, two catches for 29 yards. Um, and Ellis Jones had two catches for 18 yards. So pretty pretty decent from our guys overall. Blocking was just dreadful. Um, Calvin Britt, right tackle, he just didn't stand a chance against that left end. Uh, defensively, Sam Reddick ended up leading us in tackles. Eight tackles, three for a loss. Uh, Steve Bolden had six and a tackle for loss, Jermaine Williams and Brandon Bell each had five tackles with one for loss. And then Ryan Harrell had a, a tackle for loss and a sack. And then uh, Eric Myrick had the other sack. So not too bad. And then deflections, I don't think we got credit for any. We didn't. Uh, kicking, Lee Lundy went, um, made his only field goal attempt with 42 yards, three for three from the extra points. And then punting, uh, Martin Bur uh, Burrell only had one punt. Went for uh, 48 yards and a net of 39. It, I just didn't get the roll that I was hoping for. Uh, Ellis Jones, kick returning, 6 for 139. Just didn't have the blocking and uh, no punt returns. And, yeah, we ended up 14 yards short for the uh, 100 yards. So that's disappointing, but um, it is what it is. The one mistake in the red zone, that, that interception, cost us from getting a little bit more XP. But overall, I'm happy with how we played. All right, so um, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we'll be taking on UVA at home. Um, yeah, they um, looks like they run the ball a lot, and they put up a lot of points in their first game of the season. Um, let me see. Yeah, they played BYU and beat them 42 to 38. So. We'll see what we can do against them. Hopefully, we'll at least play them close, uh, fairly close like we did against Virginia Tech. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time.